Okay, to this week, our theme is going to be vocab, but not just vocab in general, but fun with vocab. And what you're going to see now are a couple little games that will help you strengthen the words that you have floating about in your head. So, here it is, our piece of paper. You may want to take one out at home and pause when necessary. What we're going to do is we're going to think of how many GRE words begin with a certain letter. My name is Chris, as you guys probably know, so let's just, for the game's sake, for our first time, use the letter C. And you can think to yourself, oh my gosh, I've learned so many words beginning with C. And oftentimes you have to narrow down the problem space, as it's called, and make it more specific. So the second letter of my name is H. Now, how many GRE words can you think of that begin with the letters CH? And again, you may want to pause the video and see if you can come up with a total of 10, which is quite challenging. Okay, so now you're back with me here. What exactly did you guys come up with? Well, I do not know. But I do know that some GRE words beginning with CH include churlish, chide, chastise, champion. And just like that, you can go on and on and on and write these words down. Now, the key to this game as well is not just to write these words, which is all fine and dandy, but to actually see if you can define them. So we have a churl, a person who's churlish. They lack manners. They're rude, and boorish. And so after you've done the CH here, with hopefully up to 10 words, see if you can write in all the definitions. Then, for the number you get right, give yourself a total value. If you can get anywhere above five, because this isn't actually that easy to do, that's actually excellent. If you can get seven or eight, then you're really on target. However, if you're only able to get one or two, what does that show us? Well, it shows us something important. It shows that, well, A, maybe you just started studying for GRE, or it shows that you have a lot of words kind of floating around in your head. You don't really have a strong sense of them. And that's the reason why this is a great game. So here you go. Here's a little explanation behind this. This is a person. Again, my art is amazing. And it could be guy or girl, I'm not sure which one, but we all, have, of course, have a brain. And in our brain, at least if you're studying for the GRE, we have a lot of different vocab floating around. Now, the reason why this game is great is it takes these vague connections we have and it makes them stronger. How? Well, let's, see, let's say I write the word chide down and I think to myself, wow, I've seen this word two or three times. I just can't remember. What does it mean? What does it mean? And so you try your best to think of that definition. And then finally, you don't get it. And so you have to look up in the word smart or wordnik or dictionary.com for that definition. But as soon as you see that definition, what have you done to these synapses? We call these synapses here in your brain. These synapses make your brain fire faster and make you have more associations within your brain. So what happens to the little synapse that has to deal with the word chide? Well, it was a little synapse here, it was a little chide synapse, and now it's suddenly the big chide synapse because you realize, ah, chide means to scold, usually in a soft way, so to softly scold. So, great, now you know the word, and maybe you think to yourself, ooh, I see that word was hiding in my brain and I couldn't find it. Now I'm upset with myself, so I'm going to scold myself softly. What have you done? You've used a mnemonic. What's happened to the synaptic connection with chide? It's gotten even bigger. And now, just like that, you're strengthening the words that are already inside your brain, which is so important. Why? Well, some students say, hey, I memorized all 3,500 words in the Baron's you know, 3,500 list. And I say, oh, that's great. Can I test you at random on them? And they sometimes say, well, okay, but can you go chapter by chapter, letter by letter? And I say, no, I'm just going to jump around. And then guess what happens? Well, they may have gone through those words at one time, but they definitely don't know all 3,500 now. So what's great about this is you're strengthening connections. Now this is ju but just one game. And what we can do is we can take this next word chastise, which also means scold, to inspire us for the next game, which is grouping words together that are similar. So both of these words mean to scold. Can we think of any other words that mean to scold? Okay, you can pause the video again and let's see if you can think of 10. Okay, I know that may seem a lot, but the English language is filled with words that mean to scold or even to criticize. So words that kind of fall into those two words or fall under those two words. So beyond chide and chastise, we have words that begin, a lot of them begin with R. We have reprimand. We have, draw a line there, we have reprove, which doesn't mean to prove again, but means to scold. We have words like rebuke, and there's a slightly formal context. 
And again, when you write down all these words, you always want to cross-check with the dictionary because of these subtleties. And sometimes these nuances aren't that important. They're more or less the same word. But oftentimes, the subtleties are important. So with rebuke, to do so in an official context is important. And so this is great. Now you're really trying to grab at the words that are floating again around in your brain, and you're trying to strengthen the synapses so that maybe with the use of even mnemonics, you can get to the point where your synaptic connections for these words and between these words becomes far stronger. And so at the end of the day, after playing these synonym grouping games or these first letter or letters grouping games, you create what's called a synaptic web. So here's, again, my wonderful art. Here are all your synapses in your brain firing away as far as GRE vocabulary goes. And now they're all connected versus before. They're just kind of floating around, not much to do. And trust me, strong synapses, strong GRE vocabulary will help you test day.